All right, guys, we are getting straight into it. Diesel versus Charky Charky here. Charky loves Nox, so I'm not surprised to see it picked here, even though she is a much lower tier god. One good thing, though, is that uh, silences against Giannis here could be quite potent. You know, he doesn't have uh, an easy way out of that. Uh, and, you know, a lot of his ability uh, to box someone relies on standing right in that range that Nox will be able to get her combo off effectively on him. Diesel actually doesn't clear the wave that well there, so that's going to, you know, stop his uh, early aggression onto Nox a little bit. Nox really suffers. Oh, fuck. There's like this crazy gnat, dude. He's going bonkers. Uh, so, yeah, Nox really suffers in this early game, a lot like Scylla does. So, uh, Soulstone definitely helps her uh, significantly, though, similarly to Scylla, as both their twos are very similar. <laughs> yeah, apparently she's been playing Raw. Don't give away the strats, man. I missed one there. Unfortunately, that one really... Oh, damn. That one being the problem for uh, Nox, that it does not apply on the wave whatsoever. Making her such a difficult god to, uh, to clean up those waves effectively on. That's why I usually like to start the three on her instead of the one. Because your poke damage isn't really relevant anyway, because you have to use the two on the wave each time. So just to be safe and to, you know, occasionally aggressively use that three on the wave when you know that your opponent can't follow up. In this position, obviously, you wouldn't be using it anytime soon, but uh, as well as, you know, to uh, to disengage when necessary. Charky keeps trying to uh, dodge these Giannis twos, but he actually ends up uh, walking right into the second part uh, as a result. That's unfortunate. It's so hard to dodge that. Really nice one there. He's looking good, and he practices this god a lot. Or not practices, but, you know, plays this god a lot, at least. Not sure how much he utilizes her in the 1v1 scenario. Uh, but, you know, he's he's probably going to know his stuff on her. It's just going to come down to whether... Ooh! Damn! That was... <laughs> I'm glad we saw that in slow-mo. That was really, really uh, well-timed by Diesel. He flicked the wrist right at the right time there. Uh, read exactly where Charky was going. It's actually a lot harder to hit that, uh, that close-range Giannis ult. Uh, then it looks. Because your opponent has quite a little bit of time to see where you're going there. But he waited until the last second to turn it uh, exactly where it needed to go. Okay, nice little one-two there. But as you can see, not much damage applied. Going into the cooldown boots is the Nox. Uh, and that's important for her to get that early cooldown online. But it deters her, uh, it deters her early damage, which is you know super important to get those... Uh, to get that chunk started. Yeah, Charky still having trouble clearing as Diesel lays into this red buff. But Diesel taking a little bit of poke here. I don't know that he'll actually be able to finish the buff. Ooh, really nice silence. And does he take the buff as well? No, Diesel actually gets it. Quite unfortunate for the young man. That's a really good play. He forced out Diesel's beads though, which is fantastic for him. Oh, that chunk. That's not good. Charky's got to be careful here. Diesel will look for this ultimate opportunity. The ult is up, and Sharky is in a rough spot here. Nope, never mind. He's within, yeah, he's outside of the range that Diesel will be able to reliably hit him with that ultimate right now. But you got to be careful. One combo will net Diesel the kill here. Ooh, that would have been beautiful. That would have been max range, but Diesel backsteps it. Diesel going straight into the Warlocks, which is, you know, very, very common. Definitely the best. Uh, ooh, really good footsies there. From Char, uh, from Charky, I don't know what it's called. Uh, from Charky. Yeah, going into the Warlocks, which is, you know, commonly known as one of the best, if not the best, uh, mage item in duel. Ooh, almost backs right into that. How many subs do we have? Uh, right now we're at 472? 473. Doing damn well, dude. Trying to hit 500 by the end of the month. If we get six subs a day, basically, you're gonna be able to fucking hit it. It's a large amount to, uh, to try to gain the hmm diesel's been just missing these portals it's really hard uh to you know get your opponent to uh to walk straight in the you know in the line that you're hoping that he will so it takes a little bit of uh of a read as well to be able to really net those because they're you know the opponent's not standing close enough to you that they're going to be able to let you reliably place it right underneath them
A $41 Frank Ocean t-shirt? $41 for the t-shirt, dude? Jesus Christ. That's a fair price for a sweatshirt for a t-shirt. God damn. That's some dedication to the man. Yeah, I have no idea what Frank Ocean looks like. Until his last album, album, album dropped, I was so sure he was a white guy. Sounds like a white guy, Frank Ocean. That's like the whitest name I've ever heard in my life, dude. I was so surprised. Diesel's got a very comfortable experience lead right now. Oh my god, he is doing so much damage. A lot of that is due to those pen boots. And as you can see, the knock's actually going... Oh, he hit that ultimate too. But able to dodge the two. Oh, really nice work. But it's not going to be enough. Charky will probably go down here. Oh, oh. Oh, really good beats from Diesel. Such a nail biter. But Diesel's able to find the final autos there. Really good play from both players though. Good stuff to Charky being able to survive as long as he did. And almost took it out from uh, Diesel. That first blood is so important here in a mage ditto. You know, it's gonna lend, um, it's gonna lend the uh, uh, the victor so much extra burst, and that's really you know what each mage is relying on. And you can see it there in each of Diesel's abilities was just chunking so much that any time he landed one, Charky was in so much trouble. Tried to make something happen with the turnaround, but just wasn't enough. Chet Cunningham is probably the way to say Yeah, Sharky really had to m rely on Diesel missing abilities there. It was a tough spot to be in. Yeah, that experience difference is really closing, um, closing in on Sharky's uh, potential to come back into this game right now. Nearly a full two levels behind. Because he's got Thoth, so he's trying to, you know, make up for this lack in early damage. Oh, huh. I'm so surprised that one hit. I hate that one, though, from Nox. It's so it's so annoying because it's so inconsequential if you hit it on its own, you know? Any move that has to be paired with another ability like that to be potent, it's annoying as hell, man. Why max the three instead of maxing the one on Giannis? Good question. Um, a lot of times I like to max the one, but... Um, that's only if you're, if you're hitting it reliably, it does uh, pack quite a bit of a punch. But the three still gives a tremendous amount of uh, extra damage. Uh, it allows your abilities to scale much, uh, uh, much more uh, powerfully with the uh, passive on it. You can see additional scaling 20, 30, 40, 50 to 60 there. So all the way up to 60 from 20. That's quite a bit. As you can see, once he uses that three, his two is like one-shotting those buffs. Yeah, so the Thoth is a good option. Uh, cheeky ultimate there, but not able to find it. Um, yeah, the ones, uh, the Thoth is a good option here to try to bring Charky's uh, damage online. You know, he won't be able to double stack or anything. If he tries to, he'll just get steamrolled here. So I hope he recognizes to go into a defensive option here. So he really needs it right now. He needs to not get one shot by Diesel's combo. It's the only way he's going to be able to stay in this game. Ooh, swing and a miss on both abilities there. Sharky not going to be able to clear this wave at all unless he uses ultimate. Chooses to. Very smart. <laughs> and Diesel's pissed. Hmm. Diesel deciding to stay here. Really trying to bait Sharky uh, into thinking he has the best of the situation. Uh, when he has beads available, so these will really uh, trying to rely on that uh, on that beads play, that beads counter play. Remember when beads could be an offensive play because they had the cooldown on them? I love that so much, but it was so OP. It was so cool though. Yep, there is that beads and Sharky's in a bad spot here. Luckily, able to dodge everything though. That's one thing about Nox. At least she's quick with that three. Hardly any diesel. Uh, hardly any diesel on Mana's side. Hardly any Mana on Diesel's side here. Ah, uh, man, one ability yet again though will 
spell disaster for Charky. Unfortunately, he's been hitting those ones, but not those twos. Just been putting them a little bit too, uh, too far outside of uh, Diesel's range there. Let's see what he decides to go into here. Actually, he went into a full obsidian, uh, which is, you know, just really aggressive and really ballsy from Charky. I got to give him that. If he lands his combo, he's going to be packing quite a punch, but he needs to, uh, you know, juke out all of Diesel's uh, abilities first. Because at this point, he is squishy as hell. Oh, Diesel with the DC? <laughs> all right. Nah, he was definitely, he was typing. He... <laughs> My man was talking to his mom. He's having pizza for dinner. So he goes into the bulwark now. Both, uh, actually, yeah, uh, Diesel went the uh, obsidian shard as well. But he's really in a more comfortable position to go into it before defense because he has the warlocks online. That's lending him enough HP to really be able to put up with Charky's damage. Whereas Charky's just got the thought to him. Pure damage online for him. No utility or survivability. A new hmm. uh -huh. Okay, Diesel is going the Pernus route and is going to get some auto attack online here. Interesting to see how much clan mates can influence your builds. So he's going to be going into uh, either a Telkines or Demonic. Most likely Demonic at this point in the game, of course. If it was earlier on, it would probably be Telkines. One good thing about um, Giannis is that he's able to maneuver around the map like this and safely get out of positions after taking that buff, you know? Looks like he's in a really rough spot here, but even Charky knows. Uh, both Diesel is so ahead at this point that he could, uh, you know, comfortably do that and turn the fight on Charky even, like, that deep into his jungle. And he can also just get out at a moment's notice. Yeah, so a big problem here for Charky is he hasn't been able to get anything going here against Diesel because he's been using these ones uh, without combining it with the two. A lot of the time it's been because he's uh, missed the two and mispositioned it, but uh, like about 40% of the time he's been throwing the one out there without the two, and it's just completely useless to do that. Always more effective to just wait for the two to come back up so that the both abilities are up at the same time because otherwise you have nothing. There's no point in even using it. It's less than like 5% of the opponent's health. Maybe less than 10%. 9% I'm going for. So we need a lot of. <laughs> you need 11D. Alright, so uh, no item here yet for Nox. She's got a lot of gold in hand. She's going to be able to go back and nearly buy the full Bulwark. Not quite. He hasn't actually picked up a second Relic yet. Um, interesting because I'm actually questioning what he should go here as well. Uh, it's kind of weird in a lot of these Mage Dittos. I think Shell could help him a lot here. Uh, but, you know, you really got to consider... Uh, that this auto attack is is something that's definitely throwing Sharky. You know, what do you really uh, itemize against it? Uh, that was a good two, but as you can see, the the uh, amount of movement speed granted to Diesel by that three is just making it so difficult for Sharky to really lock him down and find anything here. Yeah, wow, full bulwark is picked up here. As you see, Diesel actually did go the Shell as well. I do think into any like very burst-based god like this, Shell is a great active to have, great relic to have. Diesel's going to be able to take down this tower. Uh, makes a really aggressive play. Sharky is not playing around anymore, man, but I think it's going to spell disaster for him. Aw, uh, man, so much damage coming out. 1-2 will do it. Finds it. Diesel will uh, be able to take the Phoenix here. Yeah, 25 seconds. Uh, and he's got a lot of auto attack online. Yeah, for sure. He can even speed his creeps up right now, but he's not uh, opting to. 
think you should have recognized that, right? Come on, Diesel. Come on, man. Yeah, just waiting for the creeps to get there naturally. And uh, now we'll start piling into that Phoenix. Will we be able to get it in time? Uh, maybe not. No. Yeah, he definitely would have if he sped those creeps up, but uh, didn't recognize it. And, uh, you know, he's no worse for wear, though. He's got, uh, you know, nearly full health, health tower up on him. Yeah, I'm still too used to staying active. I'll get there. I'm never calling beads purification, though. I mean, sometimes I do, but I'm never defaulting to it. Good beads by Diesel. He actually uses it aggressively here because he wants to keep up his, uh, his assault. This auto attack Giannis is very funny to see. I remember when he first came out, a lot of people were playing him uh, uh, auto attack base because he's got like he's got reliable autos given that he uh, slows your opponent so much. I think it was Allied that was originally doing it. He always messed around with wacky stuff like that. We want Allied back. Yeah, and he does round the build out with Rod here for the last item. Chalky trying to go into the Rod as well, but it's not even his last item yet. He's so far behind in gold. 3,200 in the hole. You gotta give him credit for fighting back here. The people's Giannis, right? Yeah. <laughs> See, now most players uh, would really start jumping the gun here and get way too over aggressive. Like, I probably would have dove this Phoenix uh, way too many times at this point. But Diesel has got a lot of patience. He's able to recognize exactly, uh, you know, uh, exactly where he should uh, position himself to continue to be safe in these engagements. Puts himself in a little bit of a risky spot here, but of course, Giannis ult, <laughs> and he's out immediately. Besides, you know what, I can go take this buff because I'm over halfway across. No, I'm nearly entirely across the map at this point and, uh, you know, in no position for Nox to be able to follow me. Okay, Kronos, uh, Kronos Pendant picked up here for Charky. That's a good pickup at this point because the rod, uh, you know, can always be saved for the last item. Um, and it is super expensive, so picking up something else and finishing it beforehand is always better off. How long did it take me to get from Diamond 5 to Masters? Um, on my, you know, most recent accounts, it was, like, nearly instant when I was playing, um, like, actual gods. Um, or, I'm sorry, not on my most recent accounts. That was back when I was actually, you know, like, playing good gods. Um, or playing reasonably good gods. This time around, I chose to go um, all the gods. I was just playing, like, literally everything and anything. Uh, and it took me uh, quite a little bit, honestly. Maybe like... Well, it was quite a little bit for me. Maybe it was like two weeks. From that Diamond 5 to, uh, to Masters. Wow, he was able to get that portal out right before the silence applied, actually. That would have been a confirmed kill. Because he would have been able to 1 into 3 there. Or actually, no, just the two with the one would have been able to kill him. This game has been so slow. Some of these matchups, you know, like, uh, it's, you know, it's all Charky can do is try to defend. But holy shit! <laughs> Instantaneous meltdown of that Titan there. Diesel's finally going to be able to take it. Really solid game from him. Uh, just able to keep up that onslaught throughout and really finish that game <sighs> clean at 3-0. Honestly, good stuff by Charky, though, in general. Diesel's a really strong player, and uh, he was able to, you know, put himself out there. He made some impressive plays. It was just so hard to lock down that Giannis with that moving speed increase. Really tough matchup for him, uh, given that.